What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has started rolling out a brand new update for one of its good luck application called Quick Start. Now if you look at the uh, Galaxy Store here, the update section, you don't find that update, but I, inside the good luck application, you'll be able to see this update right here. Let me just tap on more here and go to the store. Now you'll be able to see uh, the change log here, but in the change log, there is nothing much mentioned here. It just says improved app stability. Now the purpose of this video is not to show you guys about this update. I wanted to show you this wonderful good luck module, which enables us to do a lot of customization on a Galaxy phone's uh, quick panel. Now the latest version is 7.4.07.56 and the update date, I think it was received a couple of days ago. Uh, yeah, a few days ago, 26 September it shows, but I got this update just yesterday and uh, the size is just 11.19 MB. Now let me go ahead and update this application. This application is actually wonderful. Uh, let me just open this first. Let's go to the good lock and uh, tap on open. Now we have got various options here to customize the quick panel. Now the first thing that I want to discuss is about the uh, quick panel toggles here. As you can see, I have set a uh, six by three row right here. Uh, by default, you get about a three by three or four by three rows uh, on the quick panel. And I see a lot of you guys asking me about this particular quick panel here. How did I set this many toggles on the quick panel here? So that is done using this quick star module on good lock application. Now, all you need to do is just go to the quick star application. And here you will see this option change quick settings button grid. Now uh, we have got a slider over here. Uh, we can slide from wide to narrow. Now I have set it to the maximum narrow width. And if I bring it down to the uh, center here, you see this goes down. Now uh, this is four by four. And if I go all the way down here, you can see this is uh, three by three. Now let me bring it to this position here. Let's see if something changes here. Now it is still three by three. And if I bring it to the next one, still three by three. I'm not sure why they have given this many uh, stops here. Let me go here. Again, three by three, and at the center, it is four by three. So it is just four by three or uh, six by three, or we have got three by three over here. That is how we can customize the quick panel grid using this module. Next, we can also customize these indicator icons right here on the top. As you can see, we have got battery information, we have Wi-Fi toggle, uh, we have got the Bluetooth indicator, NFC indicator and all that. So these can be customized. Just in case if you don't want to see some of them, you will be able to disable them. And that can be done using the uh, Quickstar module. All you need to do is just tap on visibility of indicator icons. Now right here, you see a list of indicators. You can just disable them if you don't want to see those icons on the top. Now I'll just disable these. As you can see, all of them are disappearing here. Now if I enable them, it will show up right here on top. Now depending on your requirement, you can set these up. And on the top, we've got this home screen, lock screen, expandable panel. In case if you don't want them, you will be able to disable them. You can show network information on idle. You can show network information on the key guard and you will be able to show network information when the panel is expanded. Next, on the status bar here, you can see I have set the current date month as well as day information right here. Even this can be customized using a quick star module. Let me just show you that. If I pull down this uh, quick panel, you see we've got Thursday, 3rd October it says, and I can customize this. All I need to do is just go to the uh, quick star module, tap on clock setting, and right here you will be able to enable show date. The status bar indicator clock displays the date as like tablets. Uh, we can enable AM PM information, and we will also be able to set seconds to the clock. Now if I disable this and open the quick panel, there is no seconds here on the clock. And if I enable this and open this again, we have got seconds added here to this clock. Now these are some minor customization options, but this can be really useful for some of you guys out there. And you can also change the position and visibility of the clock and date. You can see uh, it's currently on the left hand side. I can bring it to the right and I can completely hide it if I don't want it. Now I prefer this on the left hand side, so let me set it to left. This is how we can change the positions of the clock right here on the status bar. And when you scroll all the way down, you can see quick setting instant access option. We will be able to change the uh, swipe area divider by just sliding this bar here. You can see the quick setting option is right here on the right hand side corner with 25% or 23% area covered. And on the left hand side, 77% of the area is covered on the status bar for notification swipe down. Let me just show you this. If I swipe from the right side corner, quick panel will get expanded. If I swipe from the left side, 
the uh, notification panel will show up right here. And this swipe area can be customized using this uh, quick setting instant access option. And apart from all this, we have got style your own quick panel option. Now this option is uh, integrated into theme park engine. We will be able to create our own themes for the quick panel, which is just amazing. We can only customize the quick panel if you don't want to theme your entire phone. If you don't want to see the same colors on the rest of the areas, you will be able to customize only the quick panel using this option. All you need to do is just tap on plus button here you will see uh, all the options all the items on the quick panel those are indicated by these uh, circles here just tap on the circle to select a specific color for that particular item you will be able to customize the entire quick panel here including the toggles and the notification panel now i have already created a few of them here let me just set this up i've selected this now let me show you the quick panel you see it's a beautiful looking quick panel and notification panel uh, using this particular theme let me select this now this is how it looks. Let me increase the grid size first. Actually, I've set it to three by three, which is not looking good. Let me just slide all the way to the right. Now we have got six by, uh, uh, six by three, and this is how it looks. It's transparent and has set some subtle uh, colors for the quick panel right here. Now let me just go back here again, go to style your own keyboard. Here I have got some recommended themes as well. I can select one of these. Let me select this uh, yellow one. Let's see how it looks. It has got this dark background and yellow uh, toggles we have. Let me change this to light mode. Yeah, now you can see this uh, bright yellow colors for the toggles and uh, even for the notifications. So this is how you can theme your quick panel. This is a very powerful module that we have got on the Galaxy phones. If you haven't played around with this particular application yet, go ahead, check this out. If you don't have a good lock in your region, you can always download it from the third party launchers like nice lock or fine lock applications. So go ahead and try them out and let me know what do you think about these modules in the comment section. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. If you are interested in this particular wallpaper, go ahead, download it from the link in the description. Every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You get to learn a lot about your Android phones, Galaxy phones, Galaxy watches, etc. So do subscribe and become a part of Apex community. And yeah, do not forget to hit that like button as well. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.